Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Rebecca. I'm gonna take you through some of my favorite drugstore I constantly repurchase. I'm not sure if there's a better way of describing that. Uh, ride or die? Drugstore faves, drugstore <sighs> holy grails, I guess, I don't know. So uh, welcome, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope that you like me, like my channel, and if I'm not your cup of tea, that's cool. There are tons of videos out there to choose from. Somebody will speak at the cadence that rings true with you. Somebody will show makeup and products that relate to you. If I'm not that person, it's okay. But I am so glad you're here and I hope you stick around because if you like drugstore as much as I do, I think you're gonna like this. All right, also it is not spring, but can we talk about my vibe? Am I just channeling? <laughs> Sorry. I've been sharing a lot of like favorite drugstore stuff, right? Because I just think there are so many gems out there that there's a few of us who kind of, it's like this, you know, little, little underground cult of, uh, oh my God, I love that. And sh you know, just, it's our secret, but we don't want it to be a secret. We want people to know. So these products never get discontinued, right? Speaking of sort of because of the departure of the Becca brand in September, I honestly have no idea what's going on with that. I am the worst. I am the last to know about industry buzz, okay? I am sorry to see them go, but I thought I would mention this e.l.f. blur primer. This is for under eyes. It is, I'm hit, I hit pan. I hit pan! I don't think I've ever hit pan on something on my channel. I think, I, oh, maybe one. I think a Wonder Beauty powder. <laughs> okay. So I have a backup of this. It is very affordable, three, four dollars. I love it because it just works as a great base for concealer. Over eye cream, under concealer, even under corrector. It is my version of the Becca uh, Awake, that Awake under eye product. So if you're a fan of that, and you don't feel like buying that selection out, try the e.l.f. to see. You might be very pleased. <laughs> Speaking of concealer, I thought it would be fun to talk about a product that I think five years ago, I mean like this has been the first bargain of the week product I ever showed and I used to do bargain of the week and I think that was just when I had more kind of regularity about my channel. It sounds so weird. I don't know. I just, things, life just happens and then things change and we all change and I get it. I will bring back bargain of the week for 2021, right? You guys need, I mean, I'm kind of doing it. I'm trying to give you as much drugstore content as I can on my channel. So every day is bargain of the week. The LA Girl Concealer. This is the HD Pro Concealer. I hope this isn't going anywhere because I'm noticing it on clearance, but I have repurchased this so many times. Originally it's under $5, but right now it's around two or $3. So again, I am the worst and last to know about any industry news. So if you know out there about the LA Girl, this concealer, um, let me know. Unlike some of the clicky brush ones, this one is a squeeze concealer. It comes in correctors, uh, like it has green and yellow and white. It comes in so many shades. It, it's my, it was one of my very first concealers that drugstore concealers that I just love. It has, um, it's about a medium coverage. This shade is, which I'm thinking might be too light. This shade is vanilla. It dries down and it's kind of budge proof. Like it's a really good you know, we look at this and we think, oh, it's for a youngster. <laughs> but it's actually a really good product um, to not worrying, not worry about having to set or it 
moves around a ton. I, I never show it to you guys because I feel like I've already reviewed it. I don't need to talk about it again. Yeah. I am such a fan. This was another bargain of the week. I love this Essence Nude Highlighter. And what I love about it is that it is, I think it's baked. I think it's kind of one of those baked formulas. I feel like for me, it's the closest to any kind of hourglass situation. So it is just a very soft finishing powder slash highlighter. It is marketed as a highlighter. It's only got the one shade. It's called Be My Highlight. They came out with a bronzer one and kind of like a, a celestial opal highlight one. But this one, I think they called that one a strobe light or something. This one is just beautiful. It's, I love it. I love it. Um, let's see if we can put some on, right? Ooh, wet and wild brushes. There's another, there's another repurchase. All right. So considering it's a highlight, let's first kind of do the highlight part of it. I am already wearing highlight and I have another highlight product. So Oh, um, but yes, I just, I love that this is a highlighter for someone who is just absolutely insists that the, the highlighters out there on the market are way too glittery or way too metallic. Um, this one, it has such a soft sheen to it. It is very much the Martin Sheen, even Emilio Estevez of the sheens. Like it's so such a slight sheen doesn't even carry the last name. So definitely Emilio Estevez. Um, <clears throat> haven't used the, the sheen reference in a while. The other thing that's cool about this, it's made in Poland. I don't know if it's still made in Poland, but back when I bought this, it was. So it's not made in China. And I know that that's important to a lot of people. And I'm always like, if you find a product that's affordable, that's not made in China, it's amazing. They just came out with this. Think Essence, my skin perfecter loose uh, fixing powder. This stuff is beautiful. It is amazing. It's un, it's just, there is nothing like it. It's, well, okay. I mean, there might be a higher priced powder. This is the shade light, by the way. It's very translucent. It does maybe have like a slight tint cast of, you know, the shades. Um, I feel, I just feel like it has a, a little bit of a sheen and, oh, but when you set the makeup and I know, I, I feel like some of you have bought this on my recommendation and you've let me know that you're so pleased with it. I just think that it sets makeup so beautifully. It is as good as any high-end powder out there and it's just lovely. And I find to be $4.99, $5.99, a steal. Make sure you get all of them. No, just kidding. It has got talc. It has silica in it, which is a great, um, that's what makes it feel so soft. And silica is also a, um, it's not silicone. Silica is a natural, like it helps to, does it help? A, is it a humectant? I think so. So um, I am such a fan. Okay, now two more products. And I haven't talked about this one in quite some time. And it was actually Kate the Great. She mentioned it in one of her top videos. And I was like, oh, maybe it was her 21 questions. And I'm like, of course, why have I not talked about this in a while? The Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder, the Mega Glow. And this has come through so many different, I feel like they have gotten their little, it's manifested in, in different forms in so many ways. And this original kind of, even though it's not the original, but you know what I mean? This type of highlight um, is definitely like the OG. Uh, this is the shade crown of my canopy. The ones that are, I think it's something like petal. I think it has something petal. The highlighter that is just like this, but it's, uh, it's 
so pretty. This one actually might be a little bit too dark, almost a blush for, um, for highlight, I uh, I think I bought it just because I was like, oh yes, I love it. But they, um, they've even come out with a new, yeah, ooh, this is more dark than I realized. Huh, interesting, okay. Well then it's definitely the other shade. <laughs> but they are coming out with, I mean, they have come out with so many of these and it's the formula for me that works so well for a highlighter for the price. So um, definitely the lighter ones, if you're my complexion, um, maybe, shall we try it? Shall we just give it a go? Okay, I'm just putting on a little bit so we can see. Yeah, oh yeah, I mean, it looks really pretty with the color scheme <laughs> working today. So that's fun. But yeah, this one is almost like a blush or something or better for a darker skin tone for a highlighter darker than me so i'm gonna buff that out some of you oh i was so excited when we talked about this covergirl blush it smells like 1982 right i keep i have found it that there is stock of this at walgreens at rite aid at cvs so the soft mink i think is here to stay I just, I still worry about it and I just wish they would change the packaging and take away the scent. Right, cover girl? Um, <laughs> this soft mink and it is, if you, I would say, I mean, it's just so pretty. Look at that. It has this, it's got, it's a bit mauve, it's a bit pink, it's a bit, it's just this like every color. It's not too bright. It's not too, it's not, it's not pasty. It's not, you know, it's just it's such a pretty, pretty color. So I love it. Oh my gosh, that just takes me back to junior high. I had to throw in some lipsticks. I actually only only have the, the nudes, but it's because I think I'm actually very partial to the nudes in this brand and collection, but the Maybelline, the Color Sensation Lipsticks. These are the basic six, $7 lipstick tubes that are everywhere. I know that they come in all the different shade categories. There's some mattes, there's some like juicy, shiny ones. These nude lipsticks from Maybelline are I just, I love them. I always reach for them. I'm kind of, I'm always duping, you know, I'm always duping high-end lipsticks with these because I think wear, pigmentation, comfort, all of it just, it's so good. I grabbed the shades that are some of my top, like there's quite a few I really, really like. In fact, I actually grabbed the, the matte one. This is the Clay Crush and if you like I think it's the, is it the Kim or the KKW in Charlotte Tilbury in the matte one. I think this is very similar, but I could be, I could be mixing this up with something else. Um, so this, this is the matte and I really like it, Clay Crush. And um, it's very velvety. So then, oh, actually I realize now that this is in the mauve category. This is called flu flush. Yeah, flush punch. Oh, okay, flush, like, you know, you're, okay. So <laughs> this is like either the, from the pink or the mauve um, little color section. Personally, I find this pink, this shade, to have that perfect, when you wanna go, when you don't, when you want a neutral shade that's not too brown and not too purple, it's like, or pink, like this is so pretty. Cause when you look at it on the back of my hand, it looks totally different on lips, see? Cause it mixes with your existing lip shade. So that one, so we've got the flesh punch, the clay, and then this is, Naked Dare is a cream formula as well, also from the Nude. And this one here, I'll show you next to the clay. It is very, it's a little more yellow. It's, but it's, ah, oh, so good. 
but it's it's a satin you know it's not it's neither matte nor shiny it's just kind of like a nice cream lipstick it's so good I love but with the lip liners I love the Maybelline lip liners um, and you know just kind of I like to create depth with like nude and mauves and mixing them and yeah they're just really pretty so all right that's it thank you so much I hope this was fun I will list the products below again if you know of anything that's super awesome let me know in the comments if you know of anything being discontinued let me know in the comments <laughs> I hope you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because that tells my boss I'm doing okay, right? And thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.